Hey guys, Percival here, and welcome back to the virtual world. Today we're going to carry on with our V-Roy tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to edit the hair. We got our character right here, let's just drag her down. Let's zoom in on her face, and I don't know why I have a group there, but you know. Okay, so first we've got the base hair. Because of the model I'm going off, we're going to go blonde top. There you go. There's actually two methods of doing this, which is... You can either go to booth and get like people to make it for you, or you could make it just make it yourself. I'm gonna show you how to make it yourself today. So we're gonna go blonde on the top. I'm gonna to have to change the eyebrows. I just remember that now. It's been a while since I um started off on this. So we're gonna add a freehand group, and now we can see the little net. Like that's where we're allowed to draw so I just want to make and so because I'm doing a girl I'm gonna want to make it a bit wider and I'm gonna make it a more like here-ish I'd say so I just want to bring it out a bit I'm going to bring this out as well so like um, I don't want it to go over the nose so I want to bring this out a bit as well just want to just get everything nice and even and just wanna oh hang on that's going into the skin there so bring that out and bring this out a bit more as well so I think that should be fine but I can obviously edit it when I want to so first we're gonna do the top hairs and the best thing to do with the hair is just to like make sure is like coming from the same spot. We're gonna do a parting right here, just like so. Most of the hair is gonna be coming from over here, so it's gonna have to go over and down, but the parting is gonna be over here. Like there, I should say? Yeah. Draw some hair down, like it's just like so. It's best to have like a drawing tablet for this, but you don't need it, obviously. So to draw hair, what you're gonna do, go to brush. Now you can change the colors of the material, you can change the like shades and everything like that. But here we have the texture parameters, hair parameters, where you can, well, the texture parameters, like you can just change the texture. Hair parameters, where you can just change like the width of the hair, the thickness. Um, if we go down, no, I can't go down. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, we can just change like how fluffy it is or like the sections. I'll show you guys everything first. Like, so if we wanna, if we wanna just draw on it real quickly. So we're gonna go here. There we go. So that's how you draw hair, you just literally draw it on. So I'm just gonna go Control Z. Um, Control Z will be your best friend for this because basically Control Z gets rid of like your most recent like mistake. So if you wanna draw, boom, that's not that good. So I can just go Control Z, boom, it's gone. Yeah, that's much better. You just but it's better to choose colors out of here, to be honest. Um, so yeah, this just changes like the color of the, what well, like the textures. I like it like that though. Highlight position that just changes like how bright your color is. Yeah. Best keep it like that. And offset, it just changes the texture again. Just like, just changes the offset of it. So the hair parameters though, that's different. So this is gonna change how thick and wide your hair is. So if you make it thick and really wide, you're just gonna get like. Things like this, and if I turn, you can see how thick that hair and the strand of hair is. Now, if I bring that down, I've just brought it down now. So if I just draw, it makes thinner and like th thinner and like not that it's not that wide, like as you can see. So twist is like it just how much it twists. So if you if you want to hear your hair to be like really drills basically, then just twist it a lot. So let's just bring this down though. Um, twist interviral is, if I bring the twist up, then that'll just change like how much it actually twists, I think. Like where, no, where the twists are, sorry. So I wanna bring the twists down. Just go, you know, just untick those. The smoothness is how smooth the hair actually is. So if I bring, if I draw something, my character is just like, okay, um, so that just makes the hair really smooth. And if we 
bring the smoothness down, you can see it just becomes a jagged edge, basically. <laughs> so I recommend having your smoothness probably here-ish. Windows. So next we got the cross section. I don't actually know what this does, to be honest. So I'm, I just like to leave that as a diamond. And here it changes the curve of the hair. So you can make yourself a squid. It's as simple as that. No, um, it basically just changes like how much your hair curves. So you have a straight, it's not gonna have any curve at the end. If you have a fluffy, it's gonna have a bit of a curve at the end, look. So if you have a squid, you have no curve there, but you have a massive curve there. And if you have an Ikachan, you have an arrow. So, and then I have no idea what that does, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, that's the actual curve as well. So yeah, that's the curve itself. Like you can choose how much it curves. Like if you would bring it down all the way, there is literally no hair. And you can draw it on, no hair. But if you want to bring it up all the way, let's just go back to fluffy, straight fluffy. Let's bring it up all the way. You have a lot of hair and the curve is non-existent. As you can see, that will be useful for quite a lot of people if you want to make your hair straight up um, curvy or turn yourself into a squid. So a sampling viral, no idea what that actually does, I'm sorry. But I know like it's a brush parameter. <laughs> That's all I know. I didn't really go into this video like... Wait, did I just control FC? There we go. So I didn't really come into this video with a script, I just wanted to make a video. So, one thing I do actually want to do really quickly is bring this. This. No. This down a bit. So you're going to have to choose the select button. Bring this bit down. But not down enough for it to actually like not cover the hair. So, I like having it actually on the hair, basically. So it has the closest thing. I'm gonna turn the mirror on real quickly though. Um, probably should've done that at the start. Just bring it down just a bit, not too much though. Um, yeah, that's about right. That's actually on the hair now. I believe it is. So now we're gonna start with actually making the hair. I'm not the best at making hair. I'm really sorry. I usually just go to booth and like, get my hairs off there and edit them from there. That's what I did with this character, as you can see. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see how this goes, I guess. So let's just get started, yeah. Thank you. 
Okay, now we're done with the first group of hairs. I'm not really sure, like, if I like how this came out. Just, like, mm, it's, like, I could have done a lot better on it, but, like, I do think that's one of the best jobs I've ever done, but I still think it could be a lot better. But now we're going to get on to the other side, like, the other parting. I'm not sure if I'm going to start a new group for this, actually. I'm going to delete that group really quickly. Or I might just, like, keep on with this group. But after I'm done with, like, the hair, what I like to do then is just, like, make sure... I like to then get this up again and then just edit it a bit, just like make sure everything looks a bit, na a bit more natural. So let's go back to making the hair. So in the middle of doing this, all this, I realize why you don't put shit in your freehand group. Um, <laughs> so I um, changed the base color. And yeah, it went blue. That's great. Um, this is not the best. This is probably not the best tutorial I've ever watched. That's fine. But I've shown you how to draw the hair now. I'm not a big fan of this hair, so I'm probably going to redo it or like get something off booth. But yeah, all you have to do is just draw the hair on it. You'll be good. Now the bones. I don't really usually, usually use the bones, but bones are like how the hair moves and like, yeah, that's what, ba yeah, basically how it's, it's like if you put bones in your hair, the hair will move. So now if we go to texture, this is just the texture of the hair. I usually do like to keep this the same, but I know a lot of people like change it. Um, I just keep it the same usually, I, I just think it looks fine like this to be honest. So yeah, I hope, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, please be sure to like the video and subscribe. It'll mean a lot towards our little cyber kingdom. It'll help us towards our goal of total cyber domination. Anyway, I'm going to log off now, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!